The Goshen Hispanic Heritage Festival returns to Goshen for a second year, featuring vendors, live music, and much more. Last year, the festival had around 5,000 visitors, but this year, they're optimistic and hoping for even more. I think the fact that the city of Goshen has said we want to actually be a part of the Hispanic Heritage Festival, it just sends a message to the population, Latino population that's here in Goshen and in the region that you are welcome here and that your cultural traditions and the things that you bring to this community, they're about us. And so we're a community trying to build each other up. And so that's why we dedicate an afternoon and an evening to celebrating Hispanic Heritage Festival. The Hispanic Heritage Festival has the potential to be just a building block, leading to other similar events in the Goshen community. We as a community of Goshen, we want to grow. We want to, as we had a logo a few years ago, we want to be uncommonly good and uncommonly great. And that's what we want to be. And that city itself uh, can only be that if it, if it celebrates the different cultures and traditions that are here in this community. And if we can do that together, then we can actually have more of these types of days. We can have more celebrations. We can celebrate different cultures, different ethnicities. We spoke with people on the street to find out what their favorite part of the festival was. Well, you know, I think the favorite part of the festival is the food. I like the live music. Yeah, the music is amazing. Uh, I love all the vendors. Um, I like that they're all repping our uh, Latino cultures. Yeah. Just seeing another culture, listen to music, uh, have some food, meet some people, and enjoy part of Goshen. Yeah. It's been the Avalocas and the tacos and the little vendors with the cute bracelets. Slushies. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Tyson Miller.